Are you in real estate or financial advisor? Or are you a business owner in high ticket item or services? Then this tutorial will be very beneficial to you. To introduce myself, I'm Stephanie. I'm an omni-channel marketing and sales conversion consultation and I'm HRDC accredited trainer, so which is good news for corporates in Malaysia. So first thing first, I'm a performance driven marketer and business consultant. So why this is important is, um, well, it, it goes back to my background, right? I'm actually trained in sales for many years, uh, almost 15 years in MNC sales, in GLC as well. So I was a top performer, uh, award-winning sales professional, uh, even like getting awards and uh, in the international stage. So other than that, the systems that I help real estate agent or developer or agency build was also featured on Marek, which is Malaysia largest real estate conference. So I was also a real estate agent. And not only that, I was also working as a project planner overseeing sales and marketing in a real estate development company, uh, which was in Australia but they also set food in Malaysia and had their own flagship project in Malaysia. So that's how I got started in real estate. And in fact, I was also featured, uh, I was sharing uh, a lot of property insights and I was featured on podcasts, international podcasts, uh, personal finance investment podcasts. And yeah, so pretty much that. And I continue on to also train other consultants, other real estate consultants to use professional branding and really knowing how to use system, sales and marketing system to get more leads and convert more leads to appointment and then sales. So I even had a book uh, to an uh, e-workbook to help sales and real estate agent to apply the important principles on how to approach sales and marketing as a real estate consultant. So. <laughs> Besides that, let me share on the recent wins. So in one month, I had worked with a client, a real estate agency client, and in one month, we managed to get up to 5 million sales in one month by not spending more on ads, by really being more effective in terms of our offer, our ads angle, and also like a trust building ad, ad angle. So this is like the other marketers performance versus my campaign that was managed by me. As you can see, there's, co there's cost difference, but this is not important. This, I mean, this is important, yes, but it's not the most important. So most importantly is if we manage to close sales, right? So this is for one of my uh, education client. So our ex, our ex spend was 1000 only. Singapore dollar per, for that month for April but the sales that we got is like 27k so it's actually like a, almost 24 times return on ad spend so these are the amazing results that I get for my clients right because for not relying just on ads or content alone but to install different multiple touch points so if you are in real estate, financial advisor, or high ticket item, right? Like education, wellness, uh, aesthetics, healthcare. You need to approach your sales and marketing in a very systematic way, which is like a very system mindset. Why? Because uh, oftentimes when we are agent or developer ourselves or business owner, right? We always oversimplify the buying process of our ideal client. For example, Look at this diagram, right? We expect um, this is how buyer buy. Like, oh, they see our ads on day one, second day they call us, then within two days they place a deposit, which is entirely far from the truth. The truth is, prospect will take whatever time that they need to make their buying decision. They may take one to three months to consider, do research, ask around their friends and peers and family members, and then they will continue read on content and uh, look up to key opinion leaders in the field uh, and then start researching online, offline 
and start looking for projects, right? But definitely not just one project, for example. But how we approach it is we always think in our own project, like, okay, I want to sell this KLCC project. And we keep thinking it into, like, keep thinking from that perspective only. So, and then they will only call to book viewing consultation, like, in, in one to three months. And then who knows, right, how long it takes for them to come out with a deposit and then buy and purchase. So, which is why the way we sell, we market, we, uh, we nurture our leads even, needs to match this process. So, the systems that I help build really consider the buyer's journey because most of the time, we are only capturing demand. We are actually missing out on a 90%. We are capturing demand from ads, from content, from ready to buy leads or prospects. But there are 90% of the market that are not ready to buy. But unfortunately, most of the time, these leads or prospects are just being left behind or left aside and not nurtured ever again. Which is why I'm helping uh, businesses, agency to build this uh, lead, nurture, and conversion system. It sounds a mouthful, but it is what it is. I shared this system in Marek and in other workshops for agencies as well. I've run a couple of workshops showing that even Google really bang on these principles. Why and how they come about this is that they actually conducted consumers' behavior research. It's very big size. I actually forgot the, the size, but it's pretty big. If not mistaken, it's 30,000. So the data is pretty solid, So we actually, which actually shows you need as many touch points as possible. So um, on average, I actually have a slide. On average, consumers need to consume about seven hours of your content, see you at four different places, offline, online, different platforms, and at 11 touch points. Touch points can include value follow-up, how you reply, how you follow up, how you give value, right? So which is why we actually built this system, we call it an AENC, four steps framework that help you create omni-channel presence, an ecosystem, a 365 days running for you, so that you don't need to rely on ads forever, or forever spending more and more on ads, not knowing how much it will give you, how much in return it will give to you, right? So as you can see, let me explain this uh, diagram is like, we can start from here, the traffic source, regardless, you can chase the shiniest funnel or traffic source, TikTok dancing, Xiaohongshu, YouTube, no matter what, you need to have a steps a process that continuously nurture them until they are ready to hop on a call, meet you, book your calendar, and you know, go on a discovery call with you, appointment, right? But before that happens, you need a system to continuously keep them in your system so that you, you can continuously give them value, build trust, build connection until they are ready to buy, they buy it from you. Right? I hope that makes sense. Right? And you are continuously gathering data so that you can do remarketing as well. So this is actually what we help to build. And usually, right, I come across this a lot from agents, from consultants, advisors. Like, I'm sharing so many tips online, right? What's the point? Because I'm not getting any sales from it. Because of the lack of this awareness or so, like actually in terms of content, there's many types. Right, but a lot of time we are stuck at the tofu, or we are stuck at bofu. We are missing out on the mofu, like why me? Why choose me out of so many people? How am I unique compared to other agents? Right, a lot of people, we don't know really how to sell ourselves, consultants, right? Because I'm one as well, <laughs> so I totally can relate to you. We can uh, like create entertaining, thought-provoking, or even like normal home tour. But actually, there's so many layers to how we can do content creation. I have to apologize for my Singlish slang. Um, yeah, or Manglish, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to keep it uh, normal a bit. So, and you need actually authority positioning content. And you need to give your insights. 
Otherwise, how are you going to stand out from so many generic giving uh, experts, consultants, right? Give something that will relate to your ideal client profile. And this is one thing that I always share with my clients, right? There must be something about you that keep attracting also somewhat similar clients one. You will have a similar client group one that you tend to attract more. For example, if you were accountants or engineers, you tend to attract clients or prospects that are accountants or engineers or leads that are accountant engineers. Or if you like girl boss, female boss, you most likely also tend to attract female bosses or male bosses or bosses in general. So if you can pay more attention to those subtle hints, then you'll be able to create more content that actually speaks to them. Why? So that you are not offering something too general, for example. So that you are offering advices that speaks to them, that they can relate to. They are exactly their problem. Because you see, uh, let's say, okay, there's 30 over million Malaysians, right? I'm sure... Not all of us have the same issue. Some have uh, budget issues, some have uh, distant issues. I mean, when it comes to home, lah, some have rooms, number of rooms issue, they need more rooms, not smaller place. So how, right? They have many, many problems. Uh, they have problems staying too far from workplace. They have problem coming out with down payment but they need to move soon so all this you know simple simple not simple very personalized problems right so how do we create problems that speak to them to help us stand out to them to help them find us as, as well if we are talking too generally so we need to have like an ideal client profile in mind so actually these are the things that I go in depth with real estate consultants uh, when they choose to work with me or join my coaching program so this is also one of our demand generation content framework meaning content that actually helps to drive sales not just brand awareness not just I uh, I let people uh, being able to notice me pay attention to me yeah attention is one thing but converting them to clients right is another so how do you capitalize on that right these are also what I uh, help consultants to do better and increment as well. I can give you all this knowledge, but most of the times consultants have problems or limitations to really like roll this out. So that's where I come in and some really like join my coaching or ask me, or ask me for coaching, right? So we need a generation demand, not lead generation. We need a generation demand. De uh, a demand generation because 90% of our buyers are just not ready to buy right so it's a huge potential being missed out there so my questions to you is are you or your business adopting the new way of marketing which is 70% giving value and 30% sales message and how are you doing it consistently by using system right so you need to know be aware of the marketing messages that you are catering to the 97%. Because when you open Facebook ad library, right, you will see most of the ads are generic. They are not talking to problems, right? So we actually need to capture the demand. So this is the core system that we help to build uh, that actually really matches uh, Google Zero Moment of Truth. So usually we will go through like building lead magnet, building the systems, coming out of new offer angles from time to time, and then building up the follow-up SOP, the chat automation, the email drip campaigns, so all this, and how to make use of uh, CRM. So I actually teach this in my course. I'm not trying to sell you, but I do notice there's very low awareness on this, and it's very confusing, right? There's so much information out there, but I have to tell you like, even if you are studying as an agent, you don't have an agency, you are just an agent, you feel that you are just an agent, you need to have a CRM. Even you can start with using a Google Sheet, right? And then you can take note of what was the last objections, uh, what was the last meeting with this leads about, what was the last conversa conversation about. That's all you know how to plan forward. Like next time when you meet this client, what are you going to talk? And you need to plan your next follow-up because most of the sales are in a follow-up, 
whether you like it or not as sales professionals right we need to know the numbers of follow up methods especially after fifth time so like google zero moment of truth it mentions uh 7 11 4 right actually 7 hours but really la you can ask yourself have we hit the 7 hours so back to my uh, results right like these are the exact system that I use to help people get results like this was last year right like from cost per lead of 26.6 we managed to pull it down to 21.6 in a year but and with more leads double the amount of leads in a year where everyone was complaining cost per lead is very high this year because of digital ad saturation like everyone is doing digital Facebook Instagram ads TikTok ads even so consumers are very jaded very numb looking at ads so how do we stand out right so these are the approaches that i use and i hope that you can take home and implement that because trust me if you can take home i promise you you can get results you take home and implement sorry i have to uh, emphasize right take home and implement and test and optimize right so these are the exact really like i just help my client get five figure sales right in one month in one month time and with less ad budget so this is for my education client so at first when we started you know this is the cost per lead and then it went up like very near the holiday season and then it went went back down again dive down to the lowers right so and how actually through the follow-up system that I teach and install I actually helped I actually built so much trust with prospects that they are willing to send their uh, pay slip over. So this one I have to scroll very fast uh, because it's all the private thing, right? So yeah, and and another education client they mentioned like they spent close to at uh eight k eight thousands in ad spend in three months, so about three hundred plus per lead they mentioned. So how how uh and there's not many qualified leads, even they, even though they are spending so much. And do you know what is the result? What was the result we managed to get when we worked together? From three hundred dollar, we managed to get down to seventeen dollar. But this is all by installing follow up system, not just ads, ah, not just running ads that works or running ads with offer that works. Is also really having a very strong follow-up system very humanized and customer-centric approach and also a nurturing system we spend less five times less than their monthly budget instead of 8k right we are actually spending 1k plus uh, or less than 1k per month and these are the trainings and workshops hands-on very hands-on there's no theory there's practical uh, when it comes to really training uh, real estate consultants, advisors, right? To empower them with customer-centric approaches because a lot of time agents say, I uh, I customer-centric but get no sales. I don't see the results of being customer-centric. So might as well I go back or I revert back to hard selling. But actually there's a way. Don't feel discouraged. I know many consultants out there want to be customer-centric, wants to be expertise-led, no one ha likes to hard sell, I get you. So which is why I'm teaching all these frameworks and you can go back and apply. Like for example, apply several touch points, make sure your content are available at different touch points but provided that these are where your ideal client profile hangs out. Okay, don't just approach, don't just use one single approach like content and all in content. Try to mix like content, paid and organic meaning free la. and then you can try outbound inbound okay don't just stick to one method and be customer centric even when you copyright things right so if you want to know more about copywriting for more clients more leads uh do click on the link uh below i'll place it to download my book uh the cell scientist ebook which i write and create to help empower more consultants who want to be more expertise led instead of hard selling right and if you find that you need more guidance you can actually send me an email or you know inquiries on how we can do a group training for your 
company agency or if you want a one-to-one -one coaching right so these are the other performance like we even get like 45% like lower than peers 76% lower than peers 42% and peers so these are all ads performance but of course uh, follow-up system matters a lot a lot it's very important right so we even run omni-channel marketing which also helps to get uh, genuine leads warm leads for our real estate clients here and uh, yeah so I also coach one of the MIEA's director in Malaysia and also like a tech concierge company in Malaysia one of the biggest that partner up with Joho Microsoft and all the big names right in tech in CRM in very important uh, tech uh, software solution for companies here right and I also run very successful email campaigns for five digit uh, ticket item right people thought ah no one would invest so much but yeah we still get like nine replies from one email campaign which is selling like 30k uh, which is selling like 30k of uh, USD uh, coaching right so uh, I was also appointed trainer for HRDC national training week but minus all this right I'm dedicated and it's my mission to empower more consultants to not have to do hard selling but really hard hard let or expertise let selling so if you want to do that you can know more so I was even involved in the uh, customer experience business community forum by VLAN uh, in championing for customer centric approach in sales and marketing systems and processes right make sure you uh, yeah you download this book um, I will provide the link in the comment section yeah so these are the feedback that we have managed to get right I will also provide this link so that I don't need to all emphasize on the testimonials right but uh, like some of feedback is like my ability to break down each concept and provide real examples make the training not only informative but also enjoyable it's really more on hands-on uh. it's really not theory right and also make people and all consultants to feel safe to really apply not just knowing and absorb right so I also have like some video testimonials that you can check out I'll provide the link to this page brands we have worked with yeah brands that want to make a difference in the industry and in the world around them so if you are ready and you want to supercharge your business and sales growth uh, yeah you know you can book a calendar uh, let's book uh, a call together and we'll see how to move from where you want uh, move from where you are to where you want right resistant free as much as possible yeah so yeah thanks for your time I hope this helps